What's going on guys? I just got back from a uh, local show. Uh, I got a really, really nice haul here. Um, bunch of books. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna waste any time. Uh, this is a show I always go to. They have it pretty much every month, except they're uh, actually taking next month off. So uh, that's gonna suck, but yeah, I always uh, kind of buy from the same couple of dealers, always uh, find some good stuff. So uh, yeah, we get started with this first little stack here. Um, I spent $32 with this guy and he kind of has like a whole database online. So uh, I just email him like a week before the show. He pulls some stuff for me and he's the first guy I go to. So um, yeah, I get I spent, you know, 32 bucks before the show it even started. So I'll show you what I got here. Uh, a bunch of smaller stuff. Uh, well, there's a couple of decent books in here. So I got this uh, Deathstroke the Terminator number 28. Um, so that was just one I was missing. Almost done with that run too. Uh, I got this Spawn, number 109. Not the super low print stuff, but pretty cool looking book there. Got this Daredevil, number 134. Really like picking up uh, early Daredevil, that's a cool one. Same thing here, I got this Cap 187. Those are two uh, runs that I really like to put um, a lot of them together. Never going to finish them, but... Those are really fun runs to collect. Got this Demon, uh, number 40. Something I've really been picking up a lot more recently. So uh, getting fairly close to finishing off that run too. That's a cool book. Got this Adam Hughes Wonder Woman, number 145. He got a ton of Adam Hughes stuff in like maybe two months ago. So I've picked out a couple of them so far. He's got them mostly right around like six to ten bucks a pop so they're not crazy deals but i like you know grabbing them uh i got this plastic man number 18 i'm a big plastic man fan i don't really have a ton of his comics just because i haven't really found a bunch of them especially you know anything like bronze age or anything like that so i'd love to work on this run but i really just never see him uh, i got this spider gwen gwen verse number four it's a uh, Greg Land very interesting to cover I liked uh, so grab that and then the best book from this batch was this Lobo number 60 this is a pretty decent book this run goes into like maybe almost 70 I don't know if it quite hits that but uh, this is a decent book this is probably like 15 20 bucks um, and this is very similar to that demon book I showed earlier I really want to finish that run um, and I'd love to get working on this Lobo run I don't really have much from this run but uh, yeah, I definitely uh, like to put that together and read it. I think it'd be fun. So I got that stack for uh, $32. And then this next stack, um, I forget exactly how much I paid. Um, it was either 30 or 35 or 40. I usually remember everything, but I kind of kind of blanked on this one. Um, but I can tell you what I, this sticker was for everything. So these first, I think 28 books were 50 cents a piece. So I found a couple more Lobos. Um, got number four. And number five. I don't think they're worth much more, but now that I'm going to kind of try and start working on that run, I'm going to pick up when I find them for 50 cents. And then here's another run that I have kind of been wanting to work on, but I haven't like, you know, fully dipped my toes in yet, but I grabbed a bunch of these. He had these for 50 cents. Uh, this Dr. Fate run, so that was number, what was that, three? No, that was number two number four these are really cool dr fate's one of those characters like plastic man lobo demon all those characters like they're not huge characters they don't have a ton of stuff but i'd love to work on these like 90s runs that's a lot of fun so uh, yeah i've kind of seen these for like a buck um and i've just left them but i figured i found a nice stack of these for 50 cents a piece and i just uh grabbed all of them so some of these covers are better than others but yeah i thought these were cool i was looking through this too like a couple weeks ago and i saw you got this uh like lady dr fate so kind of switches uh over to her at some point and then later in the run i think it goes back to a dude so i don't know um that's a cool cover there so yeah i got a whole bunch of these um and i don't think these are really anything at all but I think it'd be fun to put it together and read it, so. Yeah, just uh, got a couple more here. 21. 
And this is probably my favorite cover here, the last one I got, 22. That's a sick cover. And then I found a few uh, Daredevils. Got this uh, 288 with bullseye on the cover, anything with bullseyes, awesome. Got uh, 289, new stand there. And then I accidentally somehow grabbed uh, two of these, 292s, both the Rex. Um, don't know how I did that, but uh, I did. Got those. Got this Deathstroke the Terminator, uh, number 15. This uh, puts me at, now I have one through 32, I think. Uh, I'm only missing like five issues, I think, so. Really, really getting close to finishing this off. This is a key, too. Maybe it's her first appearance. I don't remember, but... I mean, not a huge book. Probably, like, eight bucks. I don't know. Um, then I grabbed this, because it has Deathstroke on the cover there. Anything with Deathstroke for 50 cents, I'll grab. So we got that new Suicide Squad. Found a few Captain Americas. I love a lot of these covers, man. Um, there's a bunch of dope covers in this cap run. These aren't Mike Zek, but Mike Zek is like, his stuff is awesome. It's a little earlier than these, but yeah, these are uh, some pretty cool covers. Um, these are what? I think these are probably like 90. Yeah, 1990. So not uh, none of those are big books by any means. They're probably only worth a dollar or two, but I think those are awesome for 50 cents. Got Daredevil there. And this cover's got everybody on it. Black Widow, Daredevil, Bullseye, Kingpin, Crossbones, like, it's uh, every character in the run there. Um, and then grabbed uh, 378, another just awesome cover, like, I don't know, I just think that is so cool. A lot of great stuff on that run. And I also found this, uh, The Boys 63. I still have not read this, I still need one more book. Been like that for months now, but yeah, I, I don't like to read, when I read stuff, I like to have it all. I uh, don't really want to read it and then sit around for a month or something while I wait to buy the next book. So, I yeah, got that. I only have like maybe six issues from that run. So, uh, definitely chipping away at that. Um, then I got four dollar books. So, those were all 50 cents a piece. Then I grabbed <clears throat> a few of these dollar books here. Got this Deathstroke number seven. I actually have the variant to this, but um, didn't have the cover A. So, I got that. Uh, this is from the New 52, Volume 2. He's got two New 52 runs, so I got that number 7. Um, and number 10. Then I grabbed this uh, Miss Marvel cover. So those were buck each, and then uh, the rest of these were half off the sticker. So... Um, let me see, gotta save that one for last. Uh, the best book is on top there. So, got this detective number 522. He's always got a few Batman's detectives, so I usually end up grabbing one for, you know, 250. That's a cool book. Got this awesome Captain America cover, number 367. Uh, I got Red Skull down there, and uh, I don't think that's Magneto, but I think it's. Or, no, sorry, it is. I was thinking of something else. Oh, yeah. That's an awesome cover. Uh, I got this Spawn 65 for three bucks. I mean, it's kind of a weird movie poster, but one I didn't have, so I got it. Found this Batman Beyond number one from 2014, maybe 2011. I don't know. Um, I'm trying to put, I'm really trying to get to work on the second volume. I'd love to get the first volume, but that's a. Uh, that's an expensive one. Um, I'm almost done reading the Compendium that came out a couple months ago. And yeah, it's a fun one. I've always been a huge fan of his. Um, only recently been pick, you know picking up more and more books. But yeah, I mean, there's quite a few volumes, so I'd like to try and read them, but I don't know. We'll see how many I can find. Uh, I got another issue of the boys here, number 10. This is by far my earliest one uh, for two bucks. I mean, that's a great deal on that. Uh, another couple more caps here. Got this 344. I really like the way uh, U.S. Agent is. They, he looks pretty cool on a lot of covers, so that's a dope one there. Got this uh, 350 as well. Um, so 
So we got that. And then the last book from that uh, little lot was one that I just recently like kind of put on my radar and then I found it immediately. Um, this Batman Dark Knight number three, first appearance of this uh, White Rabbit. It's probably like a 15, maybe $20 book. So I got that for $7.50. Uh, pretty decent deal there. David Finch cover. So that was cool. And then got two more deals here. Um, this one uh, was $10 books. So yeah, I got $10 books and you get one for free. So I got 11 books here. These uh, demons were the main reason I got them. I think I grabbed six of these. So got number zero. Number five. Really happy to get a decent little stack here because um, like I said, I'm starting to get the majority of this run, so. Uh, getting harder and harder to find, but I still keep finding them at this show. Uh, number nine. Then we jump up to 33. And I thought I had this one, but I didn't. Uh, number 34, really cool cover there. And so I got that and that was what, uh, like six books. And so I figured I'd really start digging, try and find a couple more to get that free extra book. Uh, and I found a couple of centuries I don't have. So I got this uh, number six. And number seven, this is from 2005. I grabbed this. Um, sometimes I just grab books. Um, I don't realize, you know, look at the condition at all. This is Moon Knight number 11 from the 2005 run, as you can see, uh, somebody took a bite out of it. <laughs> um, so I would have left that even though I didn't have it. Um, but yeah, that's kind of ridiculous uh, that that was even in there. Like, <laughs> I don't know. That was stupid. So I kind of wasted my free book there. Um, but I did find this Benny Veronica number two Adam Hughes cover. I don't know. I thought that was neat. Adam Hughes for a buck. And then I, I was just trying to fill it in so I got this Catwoman uh, number zero from her 90s run. All right, and uh, this last up here, I had, uh, I was pretty much out of money, but I was still looking around and I found this guy. I freaking got a great deal here. Um, This guy has a huge, I mean, he's got like probably a hundred short boxes there. He's just got so much stuff. And it's all like, the short boxes are organized, but it's not in any order, right? It's not like alphabetical, it's just random. Um, and like some of the books have prices, some of them don't, and some are just ridiculously overpriced, but you know, there's so many books there, I, I'll just start flipping through. Um, and I found all these, uh, Adam Hughes Wonder Womans, and none of them had stickers on them, uh, except for one had a $3 sticker on them, so I was like, hey, you know, are these all three bucks? And he grabbed them, looked at them, he's like, yeah. So I got five of these for $3 a piece, so I spent 15 bucks on, uh, five Adam Hughes Wonder Womans, which was a crazy deal, so this is, a. Uh, 139, I'm pretty sure this is actually the first one he does on this run, which is pretty cool. Got this 150. Nice cover there. Uh, 169. Sadly, none of these are like huge, but I mean, they're all like $8 books. 170. Charles Superman, really weird there. Uh, there's that. And then the last book I'll show today is uh, 174. So got those for 15 bucks, which is a great deal. Um, that's it for the show. It's kind of a longer video, bunch of uh, cheap stuff, but pretty cool haul. Um, I actually just got in uh, a My Comic Shop order with a couple of huge keys. So I'm going to be putting that up in a couple days. So uh, stay on the lookout for that. Uh, but that's all I got for today. Um, trying to keep picking stuff up. Got free comic book day coming up, so that'll be fun. And uh, yeah, so I should have a few more videos coming out in the next few days. So uh, yeah, leave a like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff, and uh, stay tuned.